let's uh, go over to uh, Singapore and talk to my colleague in Newsday anchor Rico Hezon, who's a massive basketball Karen. fan. He interviewed Kobe when he visited Asia. Rico, just tell us, I mean, your thoughts on hearing this terrible news. You know, uh, Karen, it was uh, so sad and uh, the very devastating when I learned about the news about Kobe Bryant, who has won five NBA championships. He was on 16 all-star teams. He was the NBA Finals MVP twice. And this year, um, he could have been on the um, NBA Basketball Hall of Fame. Definitely, he is a unanimous vote uh, to be among the greatest basketball players of all time. I interviewed uh, Kobe Bryant uh, about 10 years ago when he was on his Mamba tour. He's known as uh, Kobe the Mamba uh, Bryant. And um, he is a legend, uh, not only on the court, but also off the court. He is such a kind and down-to-earth uh, gentleman. I mean, when he entered the room, uh, the first thing he said to me, Hi, Rico, how are you? <laughs> he knew my name. And uh, we, had a, we did a body bump and even a, a fist bump. <laughs> it was, I said, wow, uh, this guy is you know, one of the best basketball players of all time. And he didn't have any ego. He was such a simple man. We, had, we talked about uh, his basketball career up until that time in 2010. He just won an NBA championship uh, with uh, Shaquille O'Neal. That was his second championship with uh, the Shaq. And then I asked him, so what's next uh, for Kobe Bryant? And he said, well, I still want to win more championships. I want to retire as a Los Angeles Laker. He retired way back in uh, 2016 after uh, a legendary and uh, a very memorable 20-year career with the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. And I will never forget that time that I spent with him uh, it was about 15 minutes. And even after the interview, Karen, I, I brought with me a jersey. And I, I was asking him to sign it. And then he had you know, some um, assistants around him. And the assistant said, no, 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 no. You can't have your jersey signed by Kobe Bryant. And he said, yeah, forget about them. Rico, come here. Let me sign your jersey. <laughs> and he said, to Rico, love Kobe Bryant. So I will never really forget uh, that 15 minutes that I had with the uh, legendary Kobe Bryant around 10 years ago, Karen. It, it really uh, makes me so sad that uh, we've lost one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And Rico, to you as, as such a, an avid basketball fan, what was yeah. it about Kobe Bryant in particular that, that made him so special? There are many things about Kobe Bryant that made him so special. I mean, he was, he was very accommodating. Uh, he, was, he lived a, a great basketball career on and off the court. Uh, he, he, was, he was very uh, down to earth. He was very genuine uh, as a person. And I think that's what he will be remembered for uh, throughout his uh, uh, basketball career and of course winning all of those uh, most valuable player awards and of course just recently um, there was a tribute uh, to Kobe Bryant because uh, LeBron James who I also interviewed about five years ago sur surpassed uh, Kobe Bryant as the number three uh, basketball uh, scorer in the NBA of all time so he will be always remembered for his kindness, for his generosity, and for being, you know, um, a great shooter. Uh, a, a, someone who came straight out of high school to make an impact in the world uh, of a basketball. And he'll also be remembered particularly here in Asia. He grew, he grew the game here in Asia. I mean, maybe about 20, uh, two years ago, nobody really was... Uh, a big fan of the NBA, but he went out of his way to visit Asia, Singapore, the Philippines, China, which are big basketball uh, meccas, and he promoted the sport. He was a great ambassador 
for the NBA, not only in the United States, but here in Asia, where it is now a huge sport and has a huge following. I was going to ask you that, Rico, as, as Asia wakes up to this news, just uh, coming up to 5.30 in the morning where mm. you are, how much of an impact, given that uh, basketball and Kobe Bryant have become so popular in recent years? Very popular. He's a very popular uh, basketball figure uh, in China, in the Philippines, which... Uh, these countries are uh, where, where basketball is uh, is a religion. Uh, he's basically spread um, the, the popularity of the NBA uh, across many countries here in the region. That's why the NBA is such an important uh, part of everyone's uh, basketball lives here in in Asia, particularly uh, for myself. I always try to watch a three or four. Uh, NBA games a week after work and when I see Kobe Bryant uh, uh, um, at, uh, at, at Staples Center watching uh, any of the Los Angeles uh, Lakers games I would always tell my son who's a basketball player himself son I interviewed that guy <laughs> I interviewed Kobe Bryant I will never ever forget uh, that moment that I spoke to him uh, 10 years ago and I'm always so proud uh, to tell so many people that uh, I met Kobe Bryant, I interviewed him, and it will be, Karen, one of the most memorable interviews that I've had in my whole broadcasting career. Because, uh, you know, he was just so accommodating, so down to earth, and, uh, you know, whatever I asked him, whatever question I threw at him, he would always return it with a great answer and a smile. He would always smile ear to ear. I would always remember the smile that he had on his face. He's always a, a very positive, very energetic, and happy uh, man. A true gentleman of the sport. Karen. It's very emotional to hear this, uh, Rico. And I mean, mm. we've, we've talked so much about his sport and what he brought to the game. There's another aspect to this which is very tragic as well. Uh, his family life. He has left behind four daughters one of that's whom right. was born only last summer. That's right. And there are also reports that uh, one of his uh, daughters was in that uh, helicopter crash. And uh, that daughter uh, is a, um, a great basketball player herself. She's a teenager. She's a teenager. And uh, she has really excelled in basketball and most probably uh, one who will be following uh, his footsteps in... in uh, in high school, in college, and maybe a WNBA career. It is really sad uh, that um, we have uh, lost a, a gentleman and a great man uh, in the sport and a great ambassador of basketball, Aaron. Rico, thank you very much. Rico, he's on, joining us very early in Singapore, 5.30 in the morning there, as uh, Asia wakes up to this news. Rico, he's on, who interviewed Kobe Bryant just te well, 10 years ago and left, uh, it left a, an enormous impression on him, sharing his thoughts and his reaction to the tragic news that Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash in California. Let's just uh, explain what we know so far. Still very few details about why this helicopter crashed. You're looking at the scene of the crash with smoke rising, five people on board that helicopter, all of whom died in the crash, according to the local sheriff's department. So Kobe Bryant, just 41 years old, traveling in a private helicopter when it crashed and burst into flames, according to local reports. He's a five-time NBA champion and widely considered one of the greatest players in the game's history. There have been so many tributes from celebrities, fellow sports stars, expressing shock at his sudden death. Even President Trump has tweeted saying terrible news. Now, the identities of the other victims haven't yet been released, but there are reports that one of Kobe Bryant's four daughters was on board that helicopter. That, at this stage is unconfirmed. What we do know is that uh, the city of Calabasas, just uh, 20 miles or so, 30 kilometers from Los Angeles, has said in a statement it, it was with great sadness that we learn of the death of Kobe Bryant and four others in a helicopter crash. The aircraft 
went down in a remote field at around 10 o'clock this morning. Nobody on the ground was hurt. Eyewitnesses told the news site TMZ, which first broke the story, that they heard the helicopter's engine sputtering before it went down. The LA County Sheriff's Department has been sharing pictures of the scene of the accident, showing a fire truck and, uh, as we are still watching, smoke emerging from the hills. The US Federal Aviation Administration has identified the crashed helicopter as a Sikorsky S-76. It says it is now investigating the accident alongside the National Transportation Safety Board is, as is standard after any air accident in the United States. And uh, officials are to give further details at a news conference that will be uh, at the top of the hour just in around 25 minutes time uh, at 22 GMT, 10 o'clock at UK time. But a huge figure, a huge day and a devastating news for the world of sport. Uh, Kobe Bryant playing his entire 20 year career with the Los Angeles Lakers. He retired in April 2016 and his achievements just go on and on. He was a 2008 NBA Most Valuable Player, two time NBA Finals MVP, two time NBA Scoring Champion and a two time Olympic Champion. So the magnitude of this news across the basketball world but uh, as we've been discussing across the whole sporting world right across the globe as well because of the popularity of the NBA and basketball particularly in Asia as we were hearing from Rico Hizon meaning uh, this is uh, an enormous new story very tragic development uh, reaction coming in from all across the globe what we are going to do now is uh, just move away from this story for a short time to bring you up to date with other news we will be returning to that uh, Kobe Bryant's death uh, in a helicopter crash as soon as we can with uh, any more developments but uh, let's just update you on what is going on in China right uh, Rico uh, before we move on I just want to ask you on a personal note I know you're a huge fan mm. of the sport um, and you yes. actually met him and interviewed him. That's right, uh, Lewis. I interviewed uh, Kobe Bryant uh, in July of 2009. But before I even personally met him, I was already a big fan of his. I grew up with Kobe Bryant. I started loving the NBA because of Kobe Bryant. I even uh, collected his uh, jerseys when he was in high school at Lower Merion High School until he joined the... Um, Los Angeles Lakers as a 17-year-old. I have two of his jerseys when he was number eight and eventually became number 24. I followed his 20-year career. And when I personally met him uh, in July of 2009, I was um, really humbled. I said, wow, such a great basketball star. He just won a championship with Shaquille O'Neal with the Los Angeles Lakers and he was so accommodating, he was so kind, he was so down to earth and even he had a um, security detail and I wanted him to sign one of my jerseys. He said, please Rico, please c come over. I, I want to sign your jersey and he said, uh, to Rico, uh, love Kobe. I had 15 minutes uh, with a basketball star and he has really left a major impression on me and especially my son who plays basketball. Oh, Rico, that's wonderful to hear those memories that you have on such a sad day like today and actually it speaks to the fact mm. that he was so popular not just in the US but just briefly around the rest of the world as well. Absolutely, particularly here in Asia. Uh, he's a basketball icon. He grew the sport here in Asia. I interviewed him in Singapore. NBA, the NBA is such a big sport right now in China, in the Philippines, in Indonesia. He has been a major uh, influence in terms of growing the NBA as a global sport here in the region. Lewis.